Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this Toadette inspired hat. This is what I'm going to be for Halloween, and I can't wait to wear it, and I can't wait for you guys to make it with me. Happy hooking, everyone, and stay tuned for this video. So the supplies you're going to need to make um, to make this Toadette hood or hat is um, you're going to need your size chart and you can find that on my community channel so I am going to make mine to an adult medium so that means that the crown diameter so how wide it is is going to be about six and a half inches and then the hat height is going to be about seven and a half inches but I'm going to try the beanie part on myself before I um, make it to the seven and a half inches just to so it can be to the exact length that I want it to be. Um, so I just want it to be right around the ear area, the beanie section anyway, um, because I want the other part to stand up. Also what you're going to need is you're going to need a stitch marker, you're going to need scissors. I'm going to use my 5 millimeter hook to make the beanie and then I'm going to use my 6.5 millimeter hook to make the actual toadette part. And I'm going to use my white yarn so this is just a red heart super saver where it should wait white and then I'm also going to use this is the big twist yarn and I'm going to use um, this is the hot pink color and I'm going to use two strands together to work this that way it's stiffer and I'm using the six and a half millimeter hook for this and then with the white I'm using the five millimeter hook for that all right, other things you're going to need to make this is you're going to need some polyfill. So I have polyfill. You're also going to need some pipe cleaners. So I have some pipe cleaners here, and they have a little bit of a wire that will hold it together. And then I'm going to make, use like a big, huge pot. So I've got a big, huge pot here. And I'm going to drape it over, and then I'm going to spray it down with some water and kind of shape it. And I'm going to start off in a magic ring. If you don't know how to make a magic ring, I have a video for that. So you can, um, I'll try to remember to put it up top. That way you can um, learn how to do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do eight half double crochets into my magic ring. All right, so let me count just to make sure I have the right amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now I'm just going to pull this tail tight. And I'm just going to work in the round here, so I'm not going to join each time. So I'm going to start in this first stitch right here. I can count it again if you get confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's this stitch right here. I'm going to do two half double crochets in each of the stitches in this round and how I'm going to um, know where I started and stopped that is I'm going to mark the first stitch in this round. So I'm just marking that first stitch right there. So round two will have 16 half double crochets and you're just making two half double crochets in each of the half double crochets from the previous round. Alright, so I've got 16. I'm going to pull that tight again and I'm at my first stitch here. So round number three then I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. I'm going to mark that first one that I do. And I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch and that'll be 24 in this round. So what you're doing is you're just increasing by eight each time.
All right, so now again, this round, num round number three, had 24. And so now I'm going to do round number four, and I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And that is going to get me 32 stitches total. All right, so now we're at the end of our round four. In our next round, round five, we're gonna do two half double crochets in the first and one half double crochet in each of the next three. And that will have a total of 40 stitches. All right, so I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. And then again, I'm going to make two half double crochets in that first stitch. I'm gonna mark the first one. two and then one half double crochet in the next three. So there's one, two, three. And round five here will have a total of 40 stitches. All right, so now the next row is going to have 48 stitches, and so we're gonna do two half double crochets in the first stitch. We're gonna mark that first one, and then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next two, or next four stitches. So we're gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next four stitches. All right. All right, so that was row six. Now on row seven, we are going to have um, two half double crochets in the first stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next five stitches. And so this row, row seven, will end up having 56 stitches in it.
All right, so now I'm going to lay it out flat, and I may go ahead and um, just measure it here just to see what I'm at. So let's see here. I have got about another maybe half an inch to go because I want it to be about six and a half inches. So let's go ahead and do one more round at least. So this will be row eight. And so what we're going to do on this row is we're going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And this row is going to have 64 total stitches. All right, let's measure this again. You could just use a measuring tape too if you wanted to. So this is right at six and a half. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to be elongating the hood now. So you're just going to do 64 stitches if you're making the size that I am. Mark your first stitch and just half double crochet all the way around until you get to the length that you need. Alright, so now I'm back at that first um, stitch where the stitch marker is. So just each time you go around, make sure you move that stitch marker down to that first stitch that you're making. And just continue to you get to roughly the top of your ears. And I will see you back here when I am done with that. I now have the beanie section, the height that I want, so I'm just going to remove the stitch marker here. And where the stitch marker was, I'm going to now do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. 
And then I'm going to tie that off. And you can work in your end now or later, either one. And now I'm going to switch to the bright pink, so the hot pink and the big twist yarn. And I'm going to be using two strands of this at one time. And the I'm using a picture to work from here. So the picture that I'm using is for the Toadette hat is a um, picture of Toadette herself. And it's a really cute picture. So I'm using this picture to work off of. So I want the outer hat to be very puffy around, but I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out. And then we're going to make the round balls that go on it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, I have a video on that, or you can um, just chain, chain two and work in the second chain from your hook. So I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to do ten half double crochets in this magic ring. And of course, this hat is going to be quite a bit larger than the other one. Just going to pull my magic ring tight now. Now I'm going to go ahead and work in the round. So I'm going to need my stitch marker to work the to mark the first stitch that I made. But let me count here. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then the 10th one is hidden kind of under here. So now I'm going to do what we normally do with it. I'm going to work two half double crochets in each of the stitches around and I'm going to mark that first stitch, Actually, a stitch so I know where I started at and then this round two will have 20 stitches in it Alright, so that was the round two. So round three, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first and I'm going to mark my first stitch here. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next. And then this round will have a total of 30 stitches. Alright, so round number three had 30 stitches in it. And so now I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And round number four is going to have 40 stitches in it. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches.
Alright, so round number four has 40 stitches in it. Now round number five is going to have 50 total stitches in it. And again, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. I'm going to mark that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And then round number five will have a total of 50 stitches. Alright, that's the end of round number five, and round number five has 50 stitches in it. So now round number six will have 60 stitches in it. So what we're going to do in round number six is we're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch, and we're going to mark our first stitch, and then we're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Alright, so now I've got round number six done, and that's 60 stitches. Alright, so for row seven, what we're going to do is we're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch, and we're going to mark our first stitch here, and then one half double crochet in the next five, and we're going to do that all the way around, and we are going to have 70 on this round, 70 total stitches.
All right, so that was row seven, and it has 70 stitches on it. So my, my top's getting pretty big now, which is good. That's what I want it to do, is I want it to get really big. So for the next row, row eight, I'm going to change it up a little bit because you see how it's getting kind of these little corners right here where I do the two um, half double crochets in one stitch. So I don't want it to get corners at all. So this round, what I'm going to do on row eight is I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first six and then do mark my first stitch of course and then do two half double crochets in the next and this will have 80 so I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first six stitches that's three four five six and I'm going to do two half double crochets in this next stitch so I'm going to do one two and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around and row eight will have 80. All right, so now done with row eight, and it has 80 stitches in it. You see it's starting to curl just a little bit, so I'm going to change my strategy a little bit here, but um, see how it evens this out now? So it's not quite, you don't see the corners as much. I'm going to do one more row like this, so let me take my stitch marker out. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first seven. This is row nine, so one half double crochet in the first seven and then two in the next. I'm going to repeat that all the way around and this row will have 90. Then two half double crochets in the next. Now I'm just going to repeat that all the way around for row 9 and there will be 90 stitches in this row total.
All right, so that was the end of row nine. So we're getting quite big here, which is good. That's what I want. All right, for round 10, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna half double crochet all the way around, one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And we're going to, of course, again, mark our first stitch that we made. So I will meet you back here when you get all the way back around to your stitch marker, guys. Now I have my row 10 done. I'm going to start row 11. On row 11, what we're going to do is we're going to do two half double crochets in the first and then one half double crochet in the next eight. And of course, we're going to mark our first half double crochet that we make. And then this row will have a total of 100 stitches in it. Finished with round number 11, so round number 11 has 100 stitches, and for round number 12, I'm just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, and I'm going to mark that first stitch that I make, and just do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is round 12, and round 12 will have 100 stitches in it. Alright, we just finished round 12 and now we're going to do round 13 and round 13 is going, to, we're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. Let me mark that first one, I forgot to do that. And then we're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next nine stitches and then we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. We just finished round 13 and round 13 had 110 stitches in it and so forth. Now for round 14, we're just going to half double crochet all the way around. I'm going to mark my first stitch again. Okay, so from here on out, so our row 15 through our row 23, we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And each time we get to our stitch marker, we're just going to move it um, to the first half double crochet we made and we're going to keep on going. Just remember here to keep track of how many rounds you have. Oh, and if you're liking the, my video so far, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. It would really mean the world to me, everyone. Alright, I finished the height that I wanted it to be and um, I ended up with a total of 23 rounds. So after my 14th row, then I just did half double crochets all the way around until um, I got it to the height that I needed here. And the height that I need is just a little bit taller um, than my... Um, than my actual beanie is. So now I'm going to get my... pipe cleaner here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them. I'm going to crochet around them on the bottom round here and it's going to be I'm going to attach them and how I'm attaching the pipe cleaner is I'm just going to fold one over the other one like this and then just twist it and I'm going to do one more round of single crochets I'm going to work around the pipe cleaner for that so do it like that and it won't come undone. I'm going to attach a few to start with. And it may be a good idea too to have some like wire cutters or some really sharp scissors around that could cut the pipe cleaner. I'm going to attach, let me attach one more and then we'll see where we're at. So this one is now going to be Four that's attached. All right, so I'm going to 
remove my stitch marker and I'm going to start, I'm going to let this light lap over just a little bit. So I'm going to do single crochets all the way around. I'm going around that pipe cleaner. So you see how I'm going around that pipe cleaner here? And I'm going to mark the first one that I did. I don't want to get confused. So I'm going to mark that first one that I did. And so now I'm just going to keep going around and I'm going to round this pipe cleaner doing single crochets all the way around here. And I'm going to try to pull this as tight as I can too, by the way. And I like keeping it kind of on the back side so it doesn't stick out the front as much. move this towards the inside somewhat. I'm just going to turn it as I'm working. And again, this isn't really rigid. You could use real actual wire also. This one's not super rigid and I am good with that. But if you wanted to use actual wire, you could use actual wire also. Or a thicker gauge wire and just crochet around that. Spread this out a little bit. So I'm spreading it out just a little bit here. Make sure I got this nice there. Okay. And so I'm getting up to where I connected it, and then you're just going to do the same thing. Just crochet around that. Again, I'm going to try to pull it to the back so you don't see it as much in the front. Alright, so I'm trying to get a little bit better of a camera angle here, a little bit wider so you can actually see what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm just kind of straightening it out a little bit again. Again, I'm going to go right over that where I joined the two at. If you're making this and you're afraid the wire might poke you, you could put like a little glue on the ends of the wire too. See, I may have to add a little bit of one or not. We'll see how this works out.
All right, so I'm going to see here how this is. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these two because it seems to be about the right length. And if yours doesn't come out about the right length like this is, that's okay. You can just cut the wire and um, with like your scissors, like a big pair of scissors, or if you have like a metal cutter or something like that, like a wire cutter, you could do it with that also. So I'm just attaching those ends there. Now I'm going to continue on around. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of pull this through for right now to the first one and I'm going to put a stitch marker in it, that way it doesn't come loose. So we've got a stitch marker right there marking everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my big pot, so I've got my big pot here. This is the biggest one I could find in my house right now. So this is a little bit larger than the pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some of my polyfill before I spray it down. So I've just got the polyfill here and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it kind of across the pot like this. And we'll be stuffing this around top, bottom, everything else. So right now I'm just wanting it to set up just a little bit more than what it is. Wanting it to round down just a bit. So you're kind of just getting the shape that you want it to be in right now. Now I've got my spray bottle, so I'm gonna wet this down really good with the spray bottle and kind of stretch it out some more so it has the shape that I want. And this will help it keep the shape. So. And it'll help stiffen it up some because I definitely want it to stiffen up. but I don't want it to be hard either. I want it to stiffen up, but I don't want it to be hard. So that's kind of the challenge here is making it where it stiffens up a little bit, but not hard. You could add some starch to this and a little Elmer's glue in your spray solution, but I really don't like doing that um, with this kinds of project that is. Um, if you're doing some um, projects that you definitely don't want to move at all, then you could do it with those. Turn it. Right there, so there we go. That's how I want it. Like that. All right, so that's not bad, it's shaping up. And so from now, I'm going to set this aside. So I'm gonna pick this up, set it aside, and I'm gonna start making my white dots. And the white dots I'm gonna make are... So for the white dots, I'm gonna take my measuring tape and um, see what the flat edge is. So I'm gonna make them about five inches wide. So they're fairly wide. Um, 
yeah so about five inches wide is what I'm gonna make them so I got my measuring tape about five inches wide I may go just a little bit bigger they can go a little bit up on the hat too if I wanted them to so anyway we're gonna make them about five inches wide so next you're going to grab your white and your five millimeter crochet hook again alright so how I'm gonna start is I'm going to make a magic circle and if you don't know how to make a magic circle, then you can um, just work in chain two and work in your first chain that you made. Or you can watch my video on how to make a magic circle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do ten half double crochets into my magic circle. Alright, now I'm just going to pull my magic circle tight, close it off, and I'm going to work in the round, so I'm going to grab a stitch marker, and I'm going to work two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So I start in my first stitch, so there's one. And I'm going to mark the first stitch that I started in so I know where to end at. So now this round will have 20 half double crochets. So I'm going to pull this tight again because it worked its way out just a little bit. So now I have my second round done. So now I'm going to start on my third round. So now the next round is I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch. So this stitch right here will get two half double crochets and then one half double crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to repeat that all the way around and round three will now have 30 half double crochets in this round. Again, I'm going to do one half double crochet, then I'm going to mark it. I'm going to do it straight this time, not crooked. Oops, caught my yarn a little bit there though. Alright, so that's one, then two half double crochets in that first stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. One. Then two. Then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm just going to continue that until I get back to my green stitch marker. Alright, so now for the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 
two half double crochets in the first stitch, but I'm going to mark the first one. So this is round four. So mark that first stitch. I got the marker right this time. One, two half double crochets in the first one, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then that's the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way around. So two half double crochets in that next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then round four will have a total of 40 stitches all together. And one thing you notice here is I'm trying not to crochet too tight. I'm trying to crochet rather loosely. That'll help your project not um, curl also is by not crocheting too tight. Because if you're crocheting it really tight, then you're pulling your yarn. Alright, so now I'm at the end of my row four, and so now I'm going to start row five. And then row five, I'm going to take the stitch marker out, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch, and again I'm going to mark my first stitch. There's one already, and now two, and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And then this row, row number five, will have 50 total stitches. Alright, so now we've finished row 5. You see it's laying down nicely. So now we're going to start on row 6. I'm going to take the stitch marker out. I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. So, done one. And I'm going to mark that stitch. And I'm going to do one more. In this row, I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two, then one half double crochet in each of the next four. So one, two, three, 
four. And this is row around six, and around six you're going to have a total of 60 stitches. And you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to your green stitch marker. Alright, so that was round six and I have 60 stitches now. And again, you can just keep on going. I'm probably going to do one more round because that's how big I need my um, white dot to be. But you can just keep on going as long as you need to, to make your, um, your circle as big as you need it to be. So this is round seven. So round seven, I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first. Again, I'm going to mark the one I started with. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And this is round seven. There's one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then I'm going to repeat that pattern. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. So there's one, and then two, and then one half double crochet in each of the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then row seven will have a total of 70 stitches. And now you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way down or all the way around till you get to your green stitch marker. Alright, so I'm done with my round seven now, and I have 70 stitches in this round, round seven. So now if I was going to go on and do more, what I would do for my next one was I would do two half double crochets in the next, and then one half double crochet in the next six, and then I would repeat that around. And really what you're doing is you're making multiples of whatever row that you're on. So let's say I'm on 
row six. So I do two half double crochets in the first and one half double crochet in the next four. And then I repeat. So that place where you repeat the two half double crochets and then the four, that makes up six and you're on your sixth row. And then it's kind of the same thing with row sevens and then so on. So here you have your two half double crochets in one stitch and then you have one half double crochet in the next five stitches. And so that makes up seven half double crochets before you hit your repeat. And it'll be the same thing with eight, nine, ten, and then so on, um, as big as you want to make it. So if you were doing row eight, again, you would do two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next six stitches. And then that would make up eight before you do your repeat in row eight. And then that would have 80 half double crochets in that row. Same thing with nine. So let's say we were on row nine now, you would have two half double crochets in this stitch and then one half double crochet in the next seven stitches. And so the two plus seven make up nine. And then you would repeat that and that would be um, 90 half double crochets in the next row and so on. So with 10, you would do two half double crochets in the next and then eight half double crochets in the next. So you'd have two half double crochets in one stitch and then eight half double crochets in the next stitch. And then two plus eight makes up the 10. You're on row 10 and then you would have a hundred. So you would just repeat like that until you get up to the size that you're wanting. But this is the size I'm wanting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie off now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet in that next stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch and just tie mine off and that is it guys. Alright guys, so I decided to make five round dots because I thought that would space out evenly better. So I'm just, I'm not going to be real scientific with this. I'm just going to sew them on now. So I'm just going to grab my yarn needle and I'm going to thread it. And I cut my fingernails so they're super short now. Harder for me to thread my yarn needle. Alright, so I'm just going to turn this one way and I'm going to kind of line it up here so make sure this was tight. I want to make sure this is good and tight before I do that. So I'm just going to line the bottom up with these stitches here so you can see how I'm lining this up. I'm just going to sew it right in. I'm just going to go right around the whole thing. And I know this is curved, so it'll curve just a bit, and it should sew on just fine. Just make sure you spread it out as you're going so you don't get it bunched up anywhere. And again, I'm not being real scientific with this, guys. You could probably do some math, make sure everything is just spaced out perfect, but that is not what I'm doing. I'm just eyeballing it. And just make sure you're kind of spacing this out nicely as you go. You don't want to get it where it's kind of bunched up anywhere. That's the deal.
You see as I'm sewing it down, I'm not pulling it too incredibly tight because again, I just don't want it to bunch up. That's kind of my what I'm worried about here. Is it bunching up on me? It's the first one that I started with, so I've got one sewn on now. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to weave this in a bit. I'm not going to really worry about, I want to actually tie it and weave it in because it always stresses me out that things might come undone. So I'm going to weave it in. And this is going to be kind of hidden anyway, so I'm not going to worry about how this necessarily looks on the back side. I'm going to space this out the way I think it needs to be and then I'm going to count just to make sure. So I'm just going to set it up here. I'm going to count how many stitches there are just to make sure this is the way we want them to be. Let's see how many stitches I have between this one and this one. See what it works out as. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, around nine to ten. So then we're going to go nine to ten. I'm doing it on this biggest one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's the edge of the next one. First one's always the easiest, so that may not be enough spaces, but we're going to see. Okay, so the next one here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Next one, let's see if I can get 10 in. No, you can't get 10 in, so I need to make them closer. 
Oh. So let's make them closer. So, I'm counting from the sixth row up. So here's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna put it on the edge of six now. To pin it in place. Right here. All right, so again, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go sixth row up, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six rows up. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Keeping it even, six and then six. Huh? And I'm going to line that one up again with the bottom. Then I'm going to pin it in place. Then I'm going to go on to the next one. Alright, then again. We're going to go up six rows, so one, say fly, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that really hurt. Don't poke yourself with your safety pin. That would be helpful. All right. Oh, it's going to be too much now. Oh, my gosh. It's going to drive me crazy. All right. So the last one, I should have opened this before. Okay guys, so I sold my first one on and then because that was easy. So then I pinned the next ones on. So what I did was I lined the bottom up again here. So I'm not going over and I can change it around a little bit. Switch it up to where this is bottom now. And so I'm going to sew all these on. So I counted six rows up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this right here. And then I went one, two, three, four, five, six to seven so around six or seven spaces in there between being if you counted this one or not so you'll do six or seven in between there and so then you would do the next one same way one two three four five six and then you go over here and you have one two three four five six uh, I didn't count that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six to seven. So it's somewhere in that range. So you do that all the way around and that spaces it pretty darn even. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew the rest of this on. So and I've got kind of a mess here. Oh, oh I had one open. Look at that. Let me find my sewing needle. There it is. So now I'm just going to sew the rest on just like I did that first one.
And so now I'm just going to repeat this process all the way around and um, I will meet you back here when we're done. Okay guys, so now I'm going to pick up the same crochet hook I had before and I'm going to continue from where I was at. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work in this back loop here only. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half double crochets and then I'm going to decrease every 10 stitches. So I'm going to do, I'll show you, so I'm going to do one and it's in this back back loop right here. So in that back loop, so I did one, two, hold on, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. All right, so I decreased. My stuff's a hot mess. Hold up. All right, so I did. 10 half double crochets in that back loop so now I'm going to make a decrease so what I'm doing is making this smaller again so this had a total of 110 stitches all the way around and this has a total of 65 all the way around so I've got to make this match this so they both need to have 65 so this next one I'm going to do my decrease so that's a half double crochet decrease. So I'll do it slow again so you can see what I'm doing. But I also have a fundamentals video on how you do this. So you're going to make like you do a half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop and pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over again, insert your hook into the next back loop, then pull up a loop. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And that's your one half double crochet decrease. Now I'm going to do that all over again, so I'm going to do a half double crochet, and I'm trying to um, crochet pretty tight here, by the way, too. So in the next 10, so it's two, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm going to do another half double crochet decrease and then just kind of keep on doing that all over again until you get to where you started at.
Alright, now I'm going to slip stitch to the first one that I made. So here, I'll show you that. So here, I got to the last one, and I'm putting my hook into both loops of that first stitch that I made. And I'm just slip stitching there. I'm going to chain one. And then for this next round, what I'm going to do is I'm going to half double crochet in the first nine stitches and then do one decrease. So um, after that, and then just continue that around. So I'm going to half double crochet and I'm going to go through both loops at this time through the first nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now I'm going to do my decrease again, so I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over again, insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up another loop, I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to pull through all the loops. And there's my decrease. So I'm going to continue that around, all the way around. So I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease and I'm just going to continue all the way around until I get back to where I started from. Oh, and if you can't tell where you started from, you may want to mark the stitch. Okay, and those last couple of stitches here, I'm just going to do our half double crochet decrease. And then we're going to slip stitch again to that first stitch that we made. I'm going to chain one. You see how it's going in now? So that's what I'm wanting right there. Alright, so the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in the first eight. And then we're going to do our decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm doing my decrease. Just like I've been doing, so again, one.
Alright, so you're going to again slip stitch to the first stitch you made. And then you're going to chain one. I think I'm going to count my stitches from here. Alright, so now we're going to do exactly what we were just doing, except we're going to do our half double crochet first this time around. That's what doesn't make it look like a square, because we don't want it to look like a square over here. See how it's kind of starting to have little corners? We don't want it to do that, so we're going to do our half double crochet like we've been doing, yarn over, and start your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up another loop, then yarn over and pull through all your loops. And so now we're going to do half double crochets in the next seven, and then we're going to repeat that around. Now again, I'm going to slip stitch to the first one, chain one, and it is going in nicely, so that's good, and you know, we have to have it around this big, so not that many more rows to go. I may do maybe two more rows, I'm going to measure it again after this one. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, so I'm going to do my half double crochet decrease first again, and then I'm going to half double crochet in the next six. There's one, two, six. And I'm going to do my half double crochet decrease again. And half double crochet in the next six.
All right, so I've got it down to 63 stitches, which is pretty good. That's about what I want. You can kind of fudge those last two stitches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my smaller hook and I'm going to go all the way around this just one time so it kind of matches up with this a little bit better. So grab your smaller hook, which is my five millimeter hook, and this is going to be a bit tighter, and you're just going to half double crochet all the way around, and you can start in this either stitch, but just half double crochet all the way around. I'm going to start in the stitch that I um, that my chain one comes out of. Alright, so we're going to slip stitch again to the first stitch we made. Oops. I made that one a little too tight. Now let's see how this measures up. Will you fit in here? Yeah, I think that's going to work nicely. Yes, so it will fit in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tie the pink off. So I'm going to cut one of them shorter. And then I'm going to cut one of them longer for sewing around. I'm just going to pull that through. Just tie this together back here, just to hold it in place.
go ahead and go over this a couple of times, the ones I've already gone over. I'm going to go over that right there just to make sure it's nice and secure where it starts and stops. And then we go back over right here again. And then I'm going to kind of start to weave this through some. So I'm going to weave my ends in. And I'm going to go back through some of these here. Some. So I'm just weaving my ends in really, really well now so it doesn't come out. And it's almost Halloween. I've still got to make the round balls for each side. And I haven't decided if I'm going to make myself a dress or if I'm just going to find one that kind of matches this. I would like to make myself a dress. But honestly, it is um, like literally almost Halloween. So I don't know if I'm going to have that kind of time or not. I guess we shall see. So now I'm just going to start weaving this around a little bit, like in here, too, because I just, it makes me worry that it's going to come loose, even though it's just for me, since it's my uh, Toadette Halloween costume. And I'm probably going to tie it off also. Maybe make a few knots here. Okay, I'm going to cut this. I cut it kind of long, so I'm going to get my crochet hook now. I'm just going to pull this in right here. Alright guys, so here is my toadette little top here, my toadette hat. And so next we're going to make the little round balls that come off. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now it's time to start making our dots for our um, balls. So we're going to make these first because we have to sew them onto the balls. And I'm going to make four for each ball. So, so what I'm going to do is I am going to start with my G size hook. So that's about a four to four and a half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot. And if you don't know how to do that, I have videos on how to do that. And then I'm going to chain two, so one, two and now I'm going to work six single crochets in the second chain for my hook so there's the first and there's the second and this is going to be worked in the round so I've got my yarn here so I'm using a worsted weight for yarn for yarn and this is from Red Heart and I'm going to use my stitch marker and then of course my hook so now I'm just going to make six single crochets there's one two, three, four, five, oops, and then one more is six. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to connect them. I'm going to start in that first single crochet. So you can go around and count. You can do one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my number six. I'm going to start in that. I'm going to do two single crochets in that first stitch right here. Let me, I only went through one loop, so let me go through the other loop. 
So I'm going to do two single crochets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that stitch. So marking that first stitch here. So I'm going to do two single crochets in that stitch. There's one, two, and I'm going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. And this row will have a total of 12 single crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, and now what I'm going to do for the next one is I'm going to do two single crochets in this first stitch. So I've got one, and I'm going to mark the first stitch that I made. And I'm going to do one more single crochet in that first stitch. There's two, and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So this row will have a total of 18 stitches in it, and you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So you're going to do one, two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. And again, this row is row number three, and it will have a total of 18 stitches. Alright, so now on row four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then I'm going to mark that first stitch that I made and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And that's this row number four is going to have a total of 24 stitches. So there's one, two, and then one single crochet in each of the next two. So there's three and then four. And so then we're going to repeat that again. So two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's again one, two, then three, four. And just repeat that all the way around. All right, and then for the next round, round five, we're going to do two single crochets in the first and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one single crochet, and again, we're going to mark the first stitch that we made. Let's go ahead and mark that. There's two, and then one single crochet in the next three. There's one, two, three. And then we're going to repeat that all the way around. All right, so now round number five had a total of 30 stitches. So if I was going to do another round, so let's say round number six, I would mix it up a little bit. So I would do one, 
single crochet in the first two stitches and then I would do two single crochets in the next and then I would do one single crochet in the next four and then I would just do two single crochets and then four single crochets two single crochets four single crochets and then I would at the end I would have two single crochets in one stitch and then I would have one single crochet in the next two and what that will do for you is it'll keep these because you see how it's kind of starting to get some points it'll mix it up a little bit so you don't get those points so the next round I would definitely stagger if you're going to um, go on with further rounds this is going to be the perfect size for me um, since I'm making the um, toadette kind of the balls that are represent her hair since I'm making them um, the certain size but like if you wanted to make your balls larger for her hair then you would probably want to use a little bit um, larger of a circle here but it's going to be perfect size for what I'm showing you here now that you're finished with one do this eight more times and make sure that you cut your um, yarn long here so you can sew it onto the balls So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my G-hook, which is about a 4 to 4.25 millimeter hook. I need my stitch marker. I'm going to use a yarn needle and um, also yarn. And I'm going to use a worsted weight for yarn here. And I'm going to start this in a magic circle. But if you don't know how to do a magic circle, you can chain two and um, work in the um, second chain from your hook. So I'm just going to do my magic circle and again if you want to learn how to do a magic circle I do have a video on that and I will link it in the uh, description up there. So I'm going to chain one in my magic circle and then I'm going to do six single crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tail end here to pull my magic ring tight and then I'm going to, I'm not going to slip stitch to my first stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work in um, continuous rounds here. So I'm going to count my stitches. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one's kind of hidden down here. So it's this little stitch right there that's hard to see. So I'm going to start in that stitch right there and I'm going to do, let me get this out of the way so the tail's in the way. So I'm going to do two single crochets in that first stitch in each stitch all the way around. My eyes are not adjusting properly. So I have a hard time working in that first stitch sometimes. Probably made it a little too tight. So now I'm going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do each stitch around. So I did two single crochets in the first. I'm going to mark that first stitch that I did. So I've got one, two. And now I'm going to do two single crochets in each stitch around, and this round will have a total of 12 stitches. stitch here is 11 and 12. Sometimes that magic ring can come loose a little bit so just tighten it here. Round three I'm going to take my stitch marker out and round three I'm going to do two single crochets in the first and then one single crochet in that next stitch. So I'm going to do my one single crochet and then I'm going to mark it then I'm going to do another single crochet in that same stitch. 
and then I'm going to go to my next stitch and do one single crochet. And then I'm going to do that all the way around. So the next stitch will have two single crochets. There's one, two, and then the next stitch will have one single crochet. And then you're going to do that all the way around. So one, two single crochets in that stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets, and then one single crochet. Then again, two single crochets, and then one single crochet. Again, two single crochets, and then one single crochet. And then that round, round three, had 18 single crochets. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And in round four, I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So I'm doing my one single crochet, and then I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to do one more single crochet in that same stitch. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one, two. So one single crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the stitch after that. And that's my pattern here. So I'm going to do two single crochets in one stitch. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So two single crochets in one stitch. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches and then you just repeat all the way around. And then this round is round number four and round number four has a total of 24 stitches in it or 24 single crochets. round number four. So round number five, again I'm going to do two single crochets in that first single crochet from the previous round. So let me do my one and now I'm going to mark my stitch. I'm going to do one more in that same stitch and now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next three. So there's one, two, three. So there's one, two, and then three. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So again, I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, or three stitches, I'm sorry. So there's one, two, then three. And then I'm going to repeat. So two single crochets, one, two, and then one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and repeat that all the way around. And this round, round five, will have a total of 30 stitches. Alright, now I'm going to lay it down flat, and you see how it's kind of, sort of, starting to get a couple of corners here, and that's not what I want, so now I'm going to have to mix it up how I'm doing it, just a little bit, so it doesn't get those corners. So, round number six now, I'm going to do one single crochet in the first two stitches. So there's one single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to mark that one. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. Now in that next stitch, so that third stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets. So there's one, two, and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one, two, and then I'm going to repeat that pattern. So I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, next two stitches. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. 
two single crochets in the stitch after that and then one single crochet in the next two stitches and that pattern gets repeated all the way around and round six now has a total of 36 so I'm going to show you again so I'm going to do one single crochet in the next one two stitches and then two single crochets in the next stitch so there's one two and then one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then I'm going to repeat that so one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then two single crochets in the next stitch so there's one two and then one single crochet in the next two stitches and again repeat it around so one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then two single crochets in the next stitch one two and then two or one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then again repeat so one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then two single crochets in the next stitch one two and then one single crochet in the next two stitches so one two and then repeat it yet again so one single crochet in the next two stitches one two then two single crochets in the next stitch one two and then you're going to end with one single crochet in the last two stitches so there's one two and so this will make it rounder again so it doesn't so you don't see like those corners as much all right so for now for round seven we're going to take our stitch marker out and we're going to do one single crochet in the first three stitches. So there's one single crochet. And we're going to mark our first stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So one, two. And that is a total of three single crochets. Or one single crochet in the first three stitches, I should say. The next stitch we're going to do two single crochets. So there's one, two. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one, two. And then we're going to repeat that pattern. So this round also, this round will have a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. And then two single crochets in the next. One, two. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And now I am going to unravel my yarn because it is a hot mess. Okay, now we're just going to repeat that around again. So one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three and then two single crochets in the next stitch one two and then two single crochets or one single crochet in the next two stitches so there's one two and again repeat that around so one single crochet in the next three stitches one two three two single crochets in the next stitch one two one single crochet in the next two stitches one two then continue to repeat it around one single crochet in the next three stitches so there's one two three two single crochets in the next one two and then one single crochet in the next two stitches one two then one single crochet in the next three stitches one two three 
and then two single crochets in the next stitch. There's one, two, and one single crochet in the last two stitches. So there's one, two. All right, now that was row seven. So now on row eight, what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So now I'm getting other corners, right? So I need to mix this up yet again. So I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So I'm going to do one single crochet. I'm going to mark my stitch. I'm going to do another single crochet in that same stitch. And I'm going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern. So I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to repeat that all the way around. And this row will have a total of 48 stitches when I'm done. Alright, so I'm done with my round number 8 now, and then the next round, round number 9, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next 7 stitches, and this round will have a total of 54 stitches. So I'm going to do one single crochet first, and then I'm going to mark, put my stitch marker in, and I'm going to do another single crochet in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in each of the next seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I'm going to repeat that pattern. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one, two, and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to, again, just repeat that pattern all the way around until I get to my stitch marker. Alright, so now I am at um, my stitch marker again. So if you wanted to keep on increasing, I'm at the size that I want on my round 9 here. But if you wanted to keep on going, you could keep on going and keep on increasing. So the next round you would have two 
single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next eight. And so each round you're just increasing the number of single crochets in the middle of the two. So then the round after that would be nine, the round after that would be ten. And um, I'll put this on the community page on um, how to um, do that so you know um, how many stitches you will need on each round. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, single crochet all the way around and around and around again until I get to 21 rounds. So that's going to make the ball as big as what I want it to be. Um, but of course you can make it to any size that you would like yours to be. And at this point I've done round number nine and so I'm starting on round number 10. So it's either a good idea to keep something with you like a pen and paper or something like that to mark down how many rounds you've done or you could take um, something like a, a round counter just so you know how many rounds you've done. So I'm going to turn mine to nine now because I know I've done nine and then I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'm going to do that until I get to round 21 and then I'm going to start my decrease rounds. And um, I like to put my polyfill in pretty much uh, at the end because it, I don't know, it kind of, I feel like I'm pulling it up as if I do it as I'm going. Um, so I like to do that after I've done a few decrease rounds. So here I'm just doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and again this is my round number 10 but yours could be different depending on what size of ball that you want. And if you've made it this far, everybody, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. Like this video so you can come back to it over and over again. All right, so now I'm done with round 11, so I'm gonna change that to 11, which is what I've completed. Take my stitch marker out, do a single crochet in that first stitch, put my stitch marker back in, and I'm gonna grab another thing of yarn because I am almost out of yarn here. So I'm just going to attach my new yarn, or my other skinny yarn, that is. And I'm just going to 
I'm just going to make a knot. One, and if you don't know how to attach it like this, I've got a video on how to do that. And I will try to remember to link that video above. So this is how you know it will not come undone. Clip these little ends off here. There we go. All right. So you can see it's starting to turn, starting to look a little bit like a bowl, which is what we want it to do. That's 12. All right, guys, so I'm just going to keep on going around and around like this until I get to, until I finish my 21st row. So I will meet you back here when I am done with my 21st row. All right, so I've made it to my round 21. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single crochet decrease in my first stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook, loop over, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, loop over, pull up a loop. So I've got three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all three and that's my decrease. I'm going to mark that stitch because that was my decrease and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then I'm going to do my decrease again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that's my, um, that's what I'm going to repeat. So that's my pattern. So I'm going to do a decrease, one decrease, and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So again, I'm going to do my decrease. And then one single crochet in the next seven. I'm going to do that all the way around until I get back to my first stitch. Alright, so now I'm to my stitch marker, so I'm going to remove my stitch marker, and then on the next round I'm going to do a single, another single crochet decrease. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, and do a decrease. I'm going to mark that stitch, so I'm going to mark that decrease that I just did. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next six stitches, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm going to do a decrease in the next two stitches. So just working them together. Then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to just repeat this all the way around until I get to my stitch marker. Alright, so you see how it's starting to go in a little bit now? So, 
the next time I'm going to do the next row around I'm going to do my decrease again so my single crochet decrease I'm going to mark that stitch and then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next five so you see we're just going down that single crochet that we do in the middle so the next one before the next round will be three so it just goes like that so that I made two three four and five now I'm going to do my decrease again so that's my pattern so I did my decrease now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next five and I'm going to continue that all the way around Okay, the next round, again, we're going to do our decrease. So your single crochet decrease over those first two stitches. Then you're going to mark that first stitch. And then you're going to do one single crochet in the next four. Alright, so I'm getting a pretty small hole now, so it's time to start stuffing this. So I've got my polyfill here, so I'm just going to start stuffing it. So I've got a helpful hint for you here. So me, I like to save all my yarn scraps. So I just have like a, a jar. I put all my yarn scraps in there. So then when I have to stuff things, I can stuff them with these old yarn scraps. And it's actually a great way to stuff things. I'm just taking, so I put a little bit of polyfill on the bottom, and I'm taking all of this out, and I'm stuffing it with. I got some nice plushy yarn in there too. That'll be great for stuffing it with. So I just kind of fill this around here. Wow, that's a pretty long piece there, huh? I mean, if you don't know what to do with your yarn scraps, I think this is a great thing to do with them. It's just to uh, take them and um, stuff, stuff your uh, stuff that you would use for polyfill. And now I'm going to put some polyfill on top also and kind of around so that'll be in the, on the sides and then the uh, yarn will be in the middle. And then when I run out of yarn scraps, I uh, just use all polyfill. But this seems to work really well for me. And it's something really good to do with the yarn scraps instead of throwing them away. Alright, so now the next one. The reason I wait so long is because the polyfill sometimes gets caught in my hook. And I would uh, rather not have to fool with that the whole time I'm doing it. Alright, so the next round is we're going to... 
do our single crochet decrease and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches and we're going to repeat that all the way around so one two three and then we're going to do our decrease decrease and repeat that all the way around Next round what we're going to do is we're going to do a same thing we've been doing really it's a single crochet decrease and we're going to mark that stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches two. and then we're going to repeat that pattern so single crochet decrease and then we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and just keep on going all the way around We're going to do our single crochet decrease and then we're going to, of course, always mark our stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the next one stitch. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that pattern. So single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch and just do that all the way around. And then for the next round, it'll be our final round. What I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet decrease all the way around. There will be a total of six of these. And you can mark it or you could just count six, but I think I'll go ahead and mark it. Sometimes you get off, sometimes people distract you. So there's one, two. So you're just going to do the single crochet decrease all the way around three, four, five, and then six. Okay, we're at our first stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch into that first one. And I'm going to pull some yarn through, cut it. I'm leaving it a little long so I can sew it onto something else. So now that you've got that done, and you've got a little hole right here, and if you want to go ahead and stuff this now, you can put a little bit more yarn in there. You can use this back of your hook. Um, most of the polyfills come with um, a little wooden stick too so you could use your little wooden stick to kind of stuff some more polyfill in there. So I'm gonna really really stuff this thing now and until I'm satisfied with it I guess. And so you could stuff yours as much or as little as you want. That's completely up to you. 
So just to however you want it, I think I could do a little bit more in there too. All right, so you see you have this hole here. So I'm gonna take my yarn needle. I'm gonna thread it. And then I'm just gonna go through, you see these loops here? So you have a front loop right here and then you have a back loop right here. So I'm just gonna go through this front loop right like this in each of the six stitches all the way around. So just do that front loop. Okay, there's my last stitch. And then what you do is you just pull it tight right like that and there it is guys. So now I'm going to weave this in just a little bit here. And kind of just go back and forth with some of these stitches. through the middle here because I'm going to sew mine onto something else. All right, so there you are. There's your ball, guys. And so with this one, let me see how big this one actually is if I put the tape measure around it. So this made about a 13 inch around ball for me. So I would just do this around and around and around until you get to the size that you want. So you, know, you would do it less if you want smaller or more if you want bigger. And remember, these larger balls, you're making four of them total. One you're going to sew the dots on two, or two you're going to sew the dots on two, and two you're not going to sew the dots on two. All right, so now we've got our little dots made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew my dots on. So you will have four balls like this. So... And then you'll have two that you sew the dots on and two that you do not sew the dots on. So let's go ahead and sew our dots on to two of our bigger balls. So here I go. And so I'm just going to try to space this as evenly as I can. I may just work this in a little bit here. So I'm not fooling with it later. All right, so again, I'm just gonna kind of space this as evenly as I can around. I'm probably not gonna be real scientific with it again like I was with the other. So I'm just gonna kind of go through these loops here and I'm gonna go through the loop here. I'm just going to do that all the way around. Now, I guess you could, I didn't think about it really, but if you wanted to, before you stuff this, you could attach these and then you wouldn't, um, then you could go back and forth in and out of this. So I'm just going all the way around. And if you don't get it perfect, it's okay. So I'm just picking up those loops. That one didn't pick up well. Gosh dang it, huh? I'm having some trouble. Let's pull this through first then. If I'm having trouble with it, might as well just go ahead and pull it through. And this on Toadette's hat is a little bit different. If you notice, it's not all lined up perfect, which is, again, that's just a little bit different, but that's okay. It may be easier doing it that way, not lining it up perfect. So again, I'm just going all the way around, sewing all of these on, all these little dots on.
Now I'm just going to go kind of around a little bit through here. I'm not going to pull this tight so it doesn't bunch it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my yarn to there. So I'm going to tie this right here. So this is a good hint for you. So if you're doing plushies, that type of thing. So you can tie this off right like that. I'll tie it a few times. Then I'm going to cut the longer one. I'm just going to grab my crochet hook here, like maybe through the bottomish part, through right here. And I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to pull them through. So they disappear inside. And there we go. There's one. So now. I think I'm going to go to the opposite side next, so I'm going to go right about here next. That looks about right to me. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because how it is on Toda is it's, um, it's kind of topsy-turvy a little bit, so it's not like perfectly spaced apart, which makes it honestly, I think, a little bit easier. Look, I'm taking out some of that yarn I had in there earlier. Uh, stuff it with your other yarn. So this one, again, not as long. So let's see here. Where do I have the other one lined up so at? So I have the other one lined up right about there. So we're going to go ahead and line this one up right about there. Okay. Probably should have threaded that first. Let me put something there to mark where I want the bottom to line up at. Now I've got two of those sewed on. So I'm going to follow this around and do about halfway in between. So I'm somewhere around here-ish. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going kind of halfway in between there and then I'll do the same thing on that side.
So I also have all these little styrofoam balls that I don't know what to do with them. Um, I think when my kid was younger, we used them for some kind of project she was doing. And so they've just been kind of hanging out at my house. And I've been looking for things to do with them, but I honestly don't know what. If you guys have any suggestions, um, let me know in the comments. I'd really, really like to know what to do with these things. Here we are. Now we only have one more left. And I'm going to find a bottom of one of these somewhere around here-ish. Alrighty then. So now just do that for one other. So you leave two blank and then you do this. Then you have two with the circles and you have two blank. Now it's time to make the smaller balls. So this is the one that goes in the middle and you're going to need to make a total of two of these smaller balls. We're going to get our yarn. This is just a worsted weight for yarn and I'm using my G hook which is about a four millimeter hook. I've got um, my stitch counter here just so I don't get confused. You don't have to have one if you if you don't get confused easily but sometimes I do and I've got my stitch marker and I've got a yarn needle that I'm using. So I'm going to start in a magic ring but if you want to start this um, by chaining two and working in your second chain from your hook then you can totally do that. So I've got my magic ring. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work six single crochets in my magic ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I'm just going to pull this tight to close and I'm going to be working in the round here so I'm not going to um, slip stitch to the first stitch I make. I'm just going to be working in the round. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to work in that first single crochet that I made. So I'm going to do two single crochets in that stitch. So I'm going to do my one single crochet and then I'm going to put my stitch marker so I don't get confused as to where I started just in case I get distracted. So there's one already in that first stitch, so I'm going to work one more. And then I'm going to work two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So this is three, four, and this row around, round two, will end up having 12 single crochets all together. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so now we're back at the first single crochet we made from round two. So now we're going to start round three. In round three, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So let me do one, mark my stitch. I'm going to do one more 
and then the next stitch I'm going to do one single crochet in that stitch and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around and then this will have 18 single crochets in um, total for round three so I've done one two in the first stitch one in the next I'm going to do two in that next stitch so one two and then one in the stitch after that I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around and this will have a total of 18 stitches. I forgot to turn my lights on too. Is that better? That may be better. Alright, so now we're done with round three and we're going to start round four. In round four, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So we've got one. Then we're going to mark that stitch. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So that'd be one, two. So one single crochet. Next one, two stitches, and then we're going to repeat that pattern. So two single crochets in the next stitch. There's one, two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and then this round's going to have a total of 24 stitches. So that's the end of our round four. So now we're going to start round five. And round five is going to have two single crochets in this first stitch. So you do one, and I'm going to mark the first one. So there's two. Then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three. And I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And just repeating that all the way around. In this row, row number five will have a total of 30 stitches in it. All right, so now we're done with our round five. So round six, what we're going to do is we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. So we're going to do one single crochet in the first two stitches. So there's one single crochet. I'm gonna mark that. And one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna do two single crochets in the next stitch. So there's one, two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're mixing it up a little bit so we don't create these corners. So as you can see, it's starting to kind of make little points and we don't want those little points. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. So we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around and this round will end up having 36 stitches. So we'll go over it again. So there's one single crochet in the next two stitches, then two single crochets in the next stitch, so one, two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, so one, two. And you just repeat that all the way around, so one, two, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, so there's one, two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and then we're just going to repeat.
All right, so that's right, 36 stitches. Okay, so now round seven, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So let's do our first one. I'm going to mark that. So one, two, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next, sorry my brain just got lost, five stitches. So two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, oops, four, five. Then we're going to do two single crochets in that next stitch. So there's one, two, and then one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around until you get back to the first stitch that you made. And on this row, this is row number seven, we're going to have a total of 42 stitches. All right, so now we've finished row seven. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do row eight through 15, just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So now I need to go to row seven because this is where I'm gonna get confused at now. So again, I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. I'm going to mark my first stitch and then I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And this is row eight that I'm on. So row eight through row 15 is all going to be one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All right, so that was row eight that I just finished. So I'm gonna mark that as eight, take the stitch marker out, do my first stitch in my next row, and then just continue to do single crochets all the way around. And when it starts doing this, this is what I want, but I want it to face the other way because this is the outside, this is the inside. You can see how it looks a little bit different. So this is going to be the outside. So you want to crochet around the outside, not the inside. So you're just going to, again, one single crochet all the way around until we get to row 15. So guys, I'm going to continue this and at row, row 15, I will meet you back here. All right, so now I have my 15 rows done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a decrease over the next two single crochets. So I'm gonna insert my hook in the next single crochet, loop over and pull up a loop. Now I have two loops on my hook. Now I'm gonna insert my hook through the next single crochet. I'm gonna loop over again and pull up a loop. Now I have three loops on my hook. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna pull through all three. And so I've made my first single crochet decrease. I'm going to mark the first one that I made. And now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, 
five. So now I'm going to do my single crochet decrease again. So same way as I did before, I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three. And now I'm going to do um, single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I get to the first um, single crochet decrease I did, which we marked with our stitch marker. And guys, if you're liking this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. All right, so we're at the first at our marked stitch. So now for the next stitch, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to do my single crochet decrease, just like I did before over the first two stitches. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three and four. I'm going to do my single crochet decrease again or the next two stitches and then I'm going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I get to my first, uh, to my marked stitch that is. Alright, so the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, do my single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. There's, <coughs> there's one, two, and pull through all three loops. I'm going to mark that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and then I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Alright, so for the next one I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to do one single crochet in this first stitch. I'm going to mark that stitch. And I'm going to do my single crochet decrease in the next stitch. And I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to repeat that around. So you're doing one single crochet in your next stitch your single crochet decrease in the next stitch and then your one single crochet in the stitch after that again repeating that all the way around so I'm mixing it up just a little bit so one single crochet and then your single crochet decrease and then one single crochet all the way around one single crochet your single crochet decrease, 
one single crochet. Again, one single crochet, single crochet decrease, and one single crochet. And just do that until you're back to where your stitch marker is. All right, so I like to wait till almost the last minute to start stuffing mine. So I'm going to start stuffing mine right now. It's because I usually get those little fiber threads um, in my in my hook, and I have a really just I have a hard time getting them myself not hooking them. And so, and then I got my. Uh, handy dandy yarn scraps here saved. So I'm going to stuff some of those in there. So I put a little bit of the uh, polyfill at the bottom and then I'm going to stuff a bunch of yarn scraps in here. It's a great way to recycle your yarn scraps. I use a lot of black and green and tan. Can you tell? I'm just going to pull that out for a minute while I'm stuffing this. Alright, so I'm going to put a little more polyfill in. Around the, put a little bit around, the, of course, the top and some around the sides just to really fill in some of those spaces here. Of course, you can stuff this as light or as hard as you want to stuff it. Some people really like to stuff theirs. Some people don't. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna put this to the side a bit. And on the next round, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches and see how I grab it with the hook. That's why I would like to wait as long as I can. I'm going to mark that stitch and I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So single crochet decrease in the next two stitch over the next two stitches and then one single crochet in the next stitch and just repeat that all the way around. Does anyone else have this much problems crocheting around polyfill? I always, always have a problem with trying to like push it down with my fingers while I'm crocheting. That way it doesn't end up in my hook. If you got any hints for me, um, let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're at where we started. So now I'm just going to do sing the um, single crochet decrease all the way around. So I'm going to go over the first two stitches. I'm going to mark that one. Now I'm going to do it again over the next two stitches. Then do my decrease again over the next two stitches do my decrease again over the next two stitches Oops. do my decrease again over the next two stitches Oops. One, two. and then my decrease over the last two stitches so now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first stitch I started with. 
and I'm going to leave a long tail. Let me grab my scissors. Pull that through. And now if you want to stuff it more, you could fit a little bit more in there probably. So let me see if I can fit a little bit more of my polyfill in here. So you can still stuff a little bit more in there. If you want to, you don't have to. It's all up to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my yarn needle. Okay, just thread my yarn needle and I'm going to go through the um, front loop of these stitches. So you see when you look at the stitches you've got a front loop and a back loop. So if I grab the front one this is this loop right here and if I grab the back one that's that loop right there. So I'm just going to go through the front loop of each one of these stitches. So there will be six front loops so we're going to work through. That's two three, four, five, and the last one, six. Now all you're going to do is pull this to close it. So you pull it tight to close it. Now I'm going to work it in just a little bit here. Now you do this all over again. So you're going to be making one more of these balls, the small balls, for a total of two of the small balls. Okay everyone, so now I've got all my little balls made here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to grab one of my bigger ones. So this one is the one without the um, little spots on it. So I'm going to grab one of those and I'm going to sew one of the smaller ones onto this one. And um, when you look at like the picture, it looks like it goes kind of at an angle to the side. So if I sew it on the hood straight up like this, but then sew this one to the side a little bit, I think that's the angle that I'm going to go for. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go through some of these loops here. So go through the first loops. I'm just going to try to do a pretty good job of sewing this on. Sewing things on can be difficult at times, just FYI. So just do the best that you can at it. And I'm sewing it on like this and then I'm going to sew it all on the head afterwards. Um, I just kind of think that's a little bit easier dealing with it like that. You obviously can do this any way you want to. And if you don't like the angles or anything that I'm sewing it on, then of course feel free to sew yours on however you want to. Again, this is yours. So I'm just sewing it on at a little bit of an angle there. But I am I really want it to be tight and secure, so I'm going to try to go around in a kind of a loop here to sew this on. Let's see how that is. So that looks, that's pretty secure. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to weave this in some on the top. One. Again, pull it really secure. I'm weaving in my ends now. So I'm just going back and forth, weaving this in. So it's really, really secure and doesn't come loose at all. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back through the bottom one or this will end up being the middle one. So I'm going to go back through there weaving this in. Back through the, some of the ones you've already done. That makes it very very secure. And so this one, I think I'm going to sew on something about like that. So because her hair kind of stands out some, so probably, yeah, probably something about like that. So let me, I'm going to make this go down 
towards where the other one's going to be. Again, I'm not 100% sure exactly where it's going to end up, but I'm just going to make it go towards that point. So now I'm going to attach my yarn needle to this one. This is the one with the uh, little dots on it. So the one with the little dots goes on the very end. So I'm going to do the same thing with that one. I'm just going to sew this on here. All right, so yeah, that's looking super cute now. I've got both of my little balls made here, or both my little hair things made. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to get the headpiece. All right, so the headpiece is quite big, as you know. Let's see here. So... So I've got my headpiece here. Again, it is it is quite large, as you can remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which side is the front and which is the back. I think I kind of already decided that, so I think this is going to be the back side. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach these kind of on that line right there. So let's see which side. So yeah, we want it going like this. So you want the U, I cannot back this up anymore, gosh dang it, no, that's as far back as it's going to go, right there. All 
Let me move some stuff out of the way, maybe. So kind of that slope you want going this direction. So I'm going to put this right here. And these kind of go at the very, very back. So just remember that. I won't go right here and here, but maybe here and maybe here. Actually, I'm going to go close to this one and then close to this one. So I'm going to have this dot and I'm going to skip this little space right here and go right here where this other dot is. I hope you can see this. So again, I'm just going to thread my little yarn needle here. And I'm going to let's just go into one of these stitches here first, maybe. So I'm going to go around. And it wouldn't be a bad idea since we have that... Um, the wire in here to hook it around the wire at least once so it doesn't really move so much. like what you're seeing please subscribe to my channel everyone it would really really help me out i would extremely appreciate it especially if you've made it this far in the video i know this is a, a long video and a super big project so i would really really appreciate you subscribing to my channel liking this video and um, tell all your friends too There's our first one sewn on. So then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to this area right here. Let me get my yarn. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. So this is going to be upside down like this. seems like this has taken me forever to do i think it's just because it's been in my head now for a while like i've known that i want to do it i just haven't done it yet so that's why it seems like it's taken me a really long time to do it so i'm going to go back through that wire again here so i need to do that here a little bit more perhaps for chance for chance the dream oh wait that's that's the wrong thing we're saying here guess we shouldn't be getting into Shakespeare should we
So when my daughter was in high school, I know I'm old, but when my daughter was in high school, she had to learn um, Hamlet. And so I used to practice the lines over and over and over and over again with her. So that's why I kind of have some of Hamlet memorized. But when I was in school, I had to learn the monologue from Romeo and Juliet and also from Macbeth. And you know, it's strange how you can still remember that or at least some of that stuff when you're an adult. And gosh, that was, it, well, just trust me. High school was many, many, many years ago for me now. And uh, I think we just had our 30-year class reunion. Man, I am getting old. But um, anyway, I can still remember the monologue from Romeo and Juliet. But, you know, most of the time I can't remember what I did yesterday. It's funny how that works, huh? Anyway, there you go guys. Your hat is completely finished. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. This was so much fun to make and I'm so excited to wear this for my Halloween costume this year. And um, let me know how yours went in the comments and happy hooking everybody.